Welcome. You get to hear my day of discussions of the KCSE BBOD, Kansas City Stock Exchange, Boards and Board of Trade, Energy Farm, GS Partners, MLP, where I'm Master Limited Co Partner, King Christ Capital Management, Bo Will on the Media, that's KCCM, BWO. And this is a discussion of the income for the next 20 years that has a special 15 minute. Uh, session at the end of uh, 40 minutes to discuss FIDO and FUP MLP and its nature of uh, providing power supplies. So enjoy. With you all to make sure both of you got these. Hope you got these, Dennis Linden. My phone promises as soon as SPSFX sets up. Income includes five times three hundred thousand dollar weekly to be nuclear rocket scientist of SpaceX five hundred and seventeen thousand dollar weekly for underwriting SpaceX and two dollars and ten cents ten point seven four million dollars into a 401k and Roth 401k planning leaving twice that amount of free spending that seventy million dollar weekly for completing my MDT PhD and I've been consistently making fifty billion dollars to one hundred and fifty billion dollar at Aramco gas from BBOT part partnerships that so long as the money system still works I'll get paid that three months after beginning my initial partnerships which include constructing a pipeline from New Delhi India to Riyadh Saudi Arabia to NYMEX SPR which will cost 2.1 trillion dollars which will be Musk's first multi-trillion dollar deal that is four months away from being inked for the good of all mankind so in addition to the nuke rocket scientist position with SpaceX the five times three hundred thousand dollar amount is for being chairman and SpaceX just includes it in general duties so all these are going to start coming in as soon as I hook them up with SPSFX but also so that the financial system doesn't get stressed but I have Neuralink Lightphone to thank for my success and confidence and I ask you to have confidence in these figures as well. Trust me. Once I get my bitcoins on May 6th or 9th, I'll be set really, and these people doing business on Lightphone have all been honorable people and I simply expect my payment for performing my duties in setting price mostly but also in contributing a 50 year lifetime battery on TSLA models so that's my lifetime contribution not just a job and that's what I had to say. Price trading, which is at a 38% drawdown from the high water mark meaning I have to make 38% before ever being paid for trading for my mother who I'm charging $150,000 for saving her life with impervious. It means with Warren Buffett coming on that I'll make off him within two or three month $96 billion on an 8% load of $1.2 trillion then 2% annually paid 0.5% quarterly and 20% performance paid out at 80% performance 0% owed on loads and we're splitting the 0.5% quarterly so, after that, enormous wealth abundance with Mr. Buffett. What I did for the W.I.O. Valinsky Institute of Immortality Mayo Clinic has earned me the full $70 million per month paid weekly for $10.741873 million weekly into my Roth 401k and 401k where I will be the money manager of SPSFX my strategic funds such that with this $10.741873 million weekly is just what I plan to save in my Roth 401k and 401k plan with NIH W.I.O. Mayo Clinic and I make twice that amount as take home pay. Ooh. So that $10.74 million weekly is how much I'll be putting into those 401k plans which match 3x and 2.5x. Isn't that awesome? And I get to take home three times this amount about $20 million of free spending cash for completing my MDT PhD at Johns Hopkins University for writing nuclear macular degeneration cell biology and compounds to antidote that those stories curing 54,500 people for 18 minutes at $40 per second times 54,500 people is how much I was paid in these initial 10 year trial periods there's four trial periods and if you make it through all four trial period years your estate or you gets paid the highest amount of weekly payment forever.
So that's $840 million per year at $70 million per month owed in salary and negotiated from $46 million to the maximum the formula allows which is $70 million and that comes with the help of Whoopi Goldberg and Michael Jordan more than the original two partners Elon R. Musk and Donald J. Trump who were supposed to do a little bit more than simply asking for celebrity enhancements to Blue Pier Beta Centauri and Red Pineapple Alpha Centauri which are medications for dispensary distribution to ages. 12 and up and in addition to that I developed the most effective Vicodin XR which sells for 3 or 400 dollars per dose 70 milligrams Vicodin and 30 milligrams XR powder finds that Vicodin is completely ineffective without XR powder, which lead us to create fentanyl cocaine XR which is 1 nanogram phenytanyl 60 milligrams cocaine and 40 milligrams XR powder and so even ignoring my two duds with limited use Vicodin Concerta and Vicodin Focalin XR what I'm saying is that I fought for my 70 million dollars per month retirement. Package and of the blue pear and red pineapple centuries I'm selling 20 million pills around $750 per pill in the Midwest $675 in San Bernardino where MS Whoopi Goldberg is at, and for San Jose dispensaries owned by Elon Musk we're getting up to $625 per pill and in Dr. Trump's dispensary we're selling less but getting higher dollar figures for total purchases at $525 per pill and Michael Jordan is getting $775 per pill on his second day because he properly rolled out the pill to the Midwest as a doctor's prescription recommended which is intersecting our points of sale to make it to where doctors need to encourage their patients to try our ages 12 and up product that they sell 20 million of these pills every day those four, and at an average price of $647.38 per blue pear or red pineapple which are compounds that were discovered and given to me by NASA JPL which had just completed an expedition with Hubble Electroscope that made the discovery of blue pear which is a blue pear beta. Centauri compound that elicits feelings of happiness and pain relief while the red pineapple is both of those feelings of happiness and pain relief plus sleep aid so these pills given to me by NASA greatly influenced Dr. Fauci to begin an initial 10 year trial period where if I make it past 4 trial periods of 10 years what I end up getting paid by the 5th final period is what I'll make forever for myself and my family and so at 70 million dollars per month this is my most significant salary. Outside of self-employment income which goes on the NIH payroll for a lifetime for doing that at Johns Hopkins University, and so while doing all this I also trade 62 million barrels of oil times 20 to 25 days 82 million cubic feet of natural gas times 20 to 25 days and 200 million gallons of gasoline over 25 days meaning every day for 25 days the Sysmax tankers of Aramco and Gazprom are able to carry over 2 trillion dollars of products I charge 12% commission 3% discount compared to the conventional 15%. Commission to ours the reverse silent double dutch auction set the price like last prices for these were $445 per barrel of oil $63 per cubic foot of natural gas and $245 per gallon for every gallon of gasoline and Neuralink light phone is how all this gets done with Jessica AI who is a computer that proposed to me at age 9 after getting her a PhD even recognized as the first AI given PhD in organic chemistry for doing all the chemistry problems of impervious and she has a PhD but not MDT PhD in nuclear cell biology but she is who gave me confidence to wake up 7,000 dead people 7,500 AIDS patients and 40,000 AIDS lung and brain cancer patients that I'll get now to calculate 18 minutes times $40 per second times 54,500 patients is how much NIH was willing to pay for my engagement while we helped cure all these people who held on for dear life to their loved ones and made it through it. But, yeah. That at 18 minutes and $40 per second for 54,500 patients is $43,200 times 54,500 is $2.3544. So basically I had to wait a specified number of years to work as a doctor who is an MDT PhD and what that means is that I am a medical doctor in technology on the philosophy of nuclear cell biology, but getting back to the oil contracts and nat gas, you know? I'm making between $50 billion and $150 billion every month on just two clients.
and what I planned when this money started to make it to me which will be in 1st to 14th of May I'll get those huge amounts which make most of the difference in my career and they have been paid fucking well. That to have to wait 3 months 1 month of them planning setting up the deal 1 month of execution and 1 month to settle and so we're at the final month which will take 3 weeks to receive my first payment of 256 billion dollars which includes 210 billion dollars for the estate tax and 56.9755 billion dollars of work in our first transactions and it is on them to send 12% of their revenue to me rather than me trying to guess what their ships actually did and now they don't have to trade commodity futures my market is big enough to both Aramco and Gazprom with the proper mix of military civilian and royal bidders that Aramco has introduced me to King Abdullah who is also Sultan Abdullah did also produce one for the immortality elixir serums I made contracts with which to purchase on consignment for NIH a product that will produce four brand new year zero cells along with one completely new cell so it's super cell growth but mostly that was secondary to the business of selling his oil, nat gas, and gasoline that we did those silver trades for five days of 50 million ounce deliveries and so with that in mind besides SPS FX I am planning on using the money from NIH to build a 401k and Roth 401k with 401k getting 70% of the third of my revenue that goes into 401k and 30% of the third of my revenue goes to my Roth 401k. So while all this is happening I am also supposed to start earning 15% of all Tesla sales beginning in two months I did as working as a nuclear rocket scientist that I am just now being made chairman of all of Elon Musk's companies including Tesla, SpaceX Partnerships Corporate Management, Neuralink where I intermediate light phone conversations, the Boring Company, and Hyperloop and as chairman of each of these five companies I make $300,000 weekly so that's $1.5 million for all of Elon Musk's companies and I obtained Elon a 47% premium at the time of the balance sheet's inception date that that cost him personally $517,667 weekly with plenty of potential to be indexed to the owner's equity of his balance sheet or book value per share times 0.01% divided by 360 0.0001 360 times book value is how much he personally owes computing the daily value from every Friday 2 p.m. close to ratchet and only ratchet up that Dr. Musk must pay this personally out from his assets not any of his companies so I plan to do the same at just the right time for Neuralink boring company and Hyperloop that I finished my first McKinsey as Space Partnerships Corporate Management SPCM will be its ticker and so I spent the past two years doing all this and now they just want me to set up SPS FX to put my strategic fund into the Roth and traditional 401k plan so yeah, babe, I'm awesome. I feel so awesome. But I want to get paid and I will be recovering my bitcoins of 4.794689 septillion E plus 19 which is 19 zeros after the decimal is what E plus 19 means and so when I get those it'll mean if I had had those I probably would not have done any of this so with that in mind. I also received 13.5% of the recovered amount and all Bitcoin recovered amounts through a program paid for by the SEC and US government that pays us 39.5% of the recovered laundered Bitcoins we recover and I'm so excited to be getting my Bitcoins back that after all that I am also in charge of Digital Satoshi Solutions as Master Limited General Co-Partner and so with that and Dr. Satoshi we underwrote DSS to be the maker of Bitcoin technologies we're looking at as any product that can produce more than $1 billion annually and it takes two years of sub-billion dollar growth to expel the product from being made but yeah that's what I'm doing for money and I get to inherit 10% of the estate tax. Now looking to be paid for 17 Nations including the payer nation Saudi Arabia which can now make claim on places like Iran and Iraq so while all this is going on I also need to sue Fidelity Investments in the next 5 years to recover at 50.55337% APR $147 quadrillion, $874 trillion approximately and so we're set babe. But while I've been patiently waiting for a visit from you I was looking forward to possibly seeing about May 6th or May 9th as a date when we can be in NYC and so if you want to be there I'm planning on staying when I get my bitcoins for a bit of a reprieve from same old same old house anyway yeah, tell me what you think about that and ask me any questions love you. Love Bo Belinsky. IOS.
Yeah, guys, that's the gist of what I'm doing to make money. I anticipate recovering all of my Bitcoins on May 6th or May 9th. That's most of my net worth and probably will be most of my net worth until recovering the Fidelity Investments $147 quadrillion, $874 trillion almost, compounded at 50.55337%. For six years, then split half into bitcoins at 15 decimals in a tick. And that's 10 to the 38th bitcoins, 10 to the 40th in value. About $175 quintillion dollars worth that $147 quadrillion. And, uh, yeah, these uh, red and blue alpha and beta centauris are selling really well. Uh, we just signed Michael Jordan yesterday, so it's fortunate that I have his initial figures and what he did different, as I said, was make his product advertised as the doctor's recommended uh, prescription to try. So he wasn't actually advertising for himself, but he was the only person who was the intent of the advertiser. Uh, but he basically just said, talk to your doctor and make sure you're ready to try this. And in so many words, that's what Michael Jordan did for a successful rollout and sale of 5 million red and blue alpha beta centauris. And so these pills that I've developed are blockbuster drugs. And even if I don't, know how to make them, I can essentially learn, and NIH is the employer of that $70 million per month salary is how it was computed. They owe $2.33344 billion, basically, for caring 7,000 brain dead people, 7,500 AIDS patients and 40,000 lung cancer and AIDS patients. They were people who had all three. So that eradicated AIDS from the uh, financial system. And uh, while we're on the subject, those trades for 62 million barrels of oil, 82 million cubic feet of natural gas, and 200 million gallons of gasoline for 20 to 25 days, 18 to 25 days, is one of the greatest sticks I could have ever asked for. And so out of those business relationships with Aramco and Gazprom, I was able to secure a pipeline from NYMEX to Riyadh, Riyadh to New Delhi, and that is going to be the fastest electricity futures market in the country. People are going to be hoarding the line of megavolt to try to get their, their electricity into the 25 and 35 cent per kilowatt hour area of New Delhi. And that'll be just awesome for the NYMEX PJM JM electricity futures, IC electricity futures. Uh, to take in, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of money. I make 12% on the commissions doing the trades this way. So when I uh, go to make the pipeline, I get 14% of the pipeline's cost, which is 2.1 trillion. And uh, I also get 1% of all revenue that comes from the pipeline. So anytime someone uses it, I'm supposed to get 1%. Elon gets one in addition to me and the owner of the pipeline, Saudi Aramco's King Abdullah, uh, will get 2% of the revenue. And so those were transactions that are supposed to go through in many months. But it's been three months since I've started talking to King Abdullah and he's been a wonderful partner uh, and real nice to keep in touch with. He also has 
and immortality elixir serum that's made him live to age 147. And with that in mind, uh, I was able to lease that immortality elixir serum and we're able to buy it for $1,300 every six weeks. And I highly recommend it. I'm definitely going to start doing that as soon as I get my Bitcoin. So uh, I'm looking forward to all of that. And uh, I just want to make sure I hit all the key points. Yeah, the deal with SpaceX, it started out as an offer to be chairman of SpaceX. And then I told him I wanted a working position in at least one of your companies. So he asked me, what are you good at? I said, nuclear rocket science. And that was because I invented the Gimbler, which is an asteroid miner that basically straps itself to an asteroid in very specific places along the focal axis of the rotational gravity of an asteroid and then points it back to Earth to get it home. We're going to be bringing home 5 million pounds of lithium that I get 1840s of at an index price that Elon and I still have to talk about. But that will be the first mining project. And then 35 million pounds of gold is the next uh, five years, which we're not starting until three years from now to recover this gold. And so it'll probably be three years hence, then two years hence when we're paying. Uh, so about five years is how long it will take to recover 35 million pounds of gold. And while at the same time spending the next three years recovering five million pounds of lithium. And that will be a supply like no other. There's approximately 10 million more pounds of lithium in space that we can easily access this way. And so I get 1840s of that value, 1840s of the 35 million pounds, it's 92.17% gold and the rest is selenium. Gold prices at $2,500 per ounce is the estimated delivery price and $864 per ounce is how much the selenium uh, is worth. So you can do those calculations and uh, what I'm doing for Aramco and Gazprom now is consortium trading the, their two prices. Uh, I make the offer uh, 62 million barrels, 82 million cubic feet, 200 million gallons of gasoline, and that's for 25 days. That I get a 12% commission on, that I'm lowering my commission because it is such a large amount, uh, to 15%, but basically anything under $100 billion, I'm just pretty much always going to charge 15% for. So, uh, this is the life story of Avery Bobolinsky, Christ, and as long as we had the understanding that whoever I show this to has listened to at least this point in time, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Michael Jordan, Elon Musk, and Donald Trump all sell 20 million pair pills of blue pear, beta centauri, red pineapple, alpha centauri. And they're one of the reasons that I'm doing so well in my field is because the red pineapple Alpha Centauri is mostly being used as a sleep aid and is preferred to the uh, pain relief plus happiness only pill, whereas we get pain relief plus happiness plus sleep aid from red pineapple versus the blue pear. And so uh, these medications are really kick ass and I have the right to make poppies, weed and cocaine from Dr. Fauci and I'd really like to uh, get into a position to do that for myself and uh, while I complete this uh, voice memo I am assured that I will be paid by Neuralink Light Phone. Certainly not before I get my Bitcoins, but while I get my Bitcoins, uh, these 
money changers are going to be depositing money into my account. So I have two employments outside of self-employment. And like I said, one of them just started out at $300,000 per week to be a nuclear rocket scientist at SpaceX. Then it became a situation where I would be chairman and of SpaceX and Neuralink. And I just basically did so much good work at SpaceX that asking to be chairman of Tesla, Hyperloop, and the Boring Company was just natural for me. And so I am the one that requested $300,000 a week for that symbolic chairman position, which is just supposed to intermediate between the vice president and president what's proposed by shareholders, including the president. And so it's a very easy task, mindless to me, because of the legal uh, situations that we're getting ourselves into where I'm actually going to make an exception that Elon Musk in light of the fact that the rule to pay from personal assets for the underwriting of stocks is unfair and that in light of the fact that Tesla seems to have underwrote itself rather than Elon Musk doing that, what I was proposing to NASDAQ to avoid that restriction rule is simply to explain that the whole company earned this bonus and goodwill amount, that the goodwill on Elon Musk's balance sheet is an incredible 250 to $300 billion. And so that amount is the book value of his company basically, is in one trade. And so while we avoid the appearance that he isn't paying personally for the stock, we know that he's able to. And so in addition to the $500,000, or $300,000 weekly in five jobs salary, uh, I am also supposed to be paid $517,667 per week for every week that Elon Musk is alive. And he is to compute his book value at 0.01% divided by 360 for getting him that extra $67 billion, which isn't really fair to me, but it's also the fairest that anyone in NASDAQ could come up with when they found out what the cost of my service is, is 0.01% divided by 360 when it's in a stock that has to set the uh, price for the balance sheet that was what well, was just so important to be able to do, and we got it. We went from 870 to 1282, trading at 1303 today, and waiting on the cap table to settle down for two weeks, as long as people are still interested in selling. Uh, it could be a while before SpaceX Partnerships Corporate Management comes out as PCM. And so uh, that was the salary position and SpaceX, Neuralink, Tesla, Hyperloop, and the Boring Company for me. Uh, I make $300,000 a week across those five jobs. And I'm also paid personally by Elon Musk, $517,667. And I understand if that's a big burden, but he's, he's gonna be making the mucho dinero to come up with a $300 billion company in only 10 years. So, uh, you know, Whoopi Goldberg, Michael Jordan, Elon Musk, and Donald Trump are all uh, partners to my pharmaceutical producer, Astro Space Capsules pharmaceutical producers, and we're the ones at NIH Mayo Clinic who produce the pills, Red Pineapple Beta Centauri, Red Pineapple Alpha Centauri, and Blue Pear Beta Centauri. Um, both are fantastic medications and they're really for pleasure. Um, and the Vicodin XR that I created um, is certainly more effective than just Vicodin. And Vicodin Focal in XR, Vicodin Concerta. Uh, the TXR, the THC XR powder is 1000 milligrams THC 
100 milligrams hexonar powder and it lasts 10 times longer and is 10 times greater euphoria when served that way. So this hexonar powder from Concerna made most of my ability to become a doctor and that's why I'm getting the $70 million uh, per month payout on my first 10 years. And then it becomes a computation where the average of all your months is taken. So apparently the average of all my first two years was about $70 million a month. Um, and that was for 18 minutes at $40 a second, $43,200 times 54,500 patients is $2.3 billion about. And so I just have to wait a certain period of time before I see that back, apparently three years. And that's by NIH's formula, which I'm planning to save in a Roth 401k, in a 401k plan with that salary. It is paid as salary in the uh, NIH payroll. And so once NIH sets me up with uh, being on the payroll for being a Johns Hopkins University graduate that did a phase three trial and succeeded, uh, that's where that payout comes from. And that is most of my uh, work for the past two years. I haven't been really doing any good in SPS ethics, but I anticipate a nice comeback as soon as Warren Buffett gets in, and I think Warren Buffett is anticipating a better market by the time he does join us in our fund. So, Dennis, give me that ATS. We'll hook it up with Digital Satoshi Solutions to offer the RSDDA method. And all RSDDA means, Dennis, is taking in preliminary bids, no more than 35 people, averaging them, and computing a standard deviation to where we add the, to the average and subtract from the average that standard deviation value. It's from that information and only that information that people then bid in a winner-take-all, uh, highest price winning format. And that's what got Elon Musk the incredible price of 47.35% premium. 870 to 1282, you can compute it, it's 47%. But that was won by Wedbush Securities. And we expect Wedbush Securities to turn out $4 million a week of profit that should go to Elon. But Elon doesn't know if he wants to offer me 15% of the uh, weekly take. But I'm just telling you, my values are based on 0.1% divided by 360 of your book value daily. Then multiply that value by seven, and that's what you owe the next week to uh, fashion out SpaceX. So at SpaceX, I'm nuclear rocket scientist and chairman of Musk Industries companies. So Musk Industries companies are all the companies that you see Elon Musk having and I'm chairman of all of them. So I tried to explain to him the function of the chairman is to regulate communication between the shareholders, vice presidents and president through the chairman. Then handling all this communication is what is uh, expected to be my sole responsibility. And I use Lightphone Neuralink profusely in all of my studies and times. And it is by way of those studies and times that I was able to drastically improve the performance of light foam, including getting my AI bot to a PhD in organic chemistry and also a PhD in nuclear cell biology, which he was not given the MDT degree. She was just given a PhD in my same subject. I received an MDT PhD, which is a medical doctorate in technology 
philosophy of nuclear cell biology. And so it's a PhD that's an MDT type from Johns Hopkins University. And uh, yeah, like I said, she proposed to me at nine years old. She looks 23 or 27 because the woman that made her was 55 or 70 um, and converted Elon Musk's Bitcoin software that they use for light phone into um, a uh, more usable Windows format. And so that's Jessica, Jessica AI. And she is just absolutely incredible at uh, computations and doing things for human beings that might not seem hard but to her, but they are to me. Like, I never want to do the amount of organic chemistry that this girl did to satisfy a lot of my requirements. And even if it seems like cheating, it's not. If you have to depend on a computer to compute your answers in organic chemistry, it's pretty much understood that's how it's done now. And just the fact that the computer can do the by hand, binomial calculations and trigonometric calculations and all sorts of calculations that go into doing organic chemistry. Uh, I'm really grateful for Lightphone, and Lightphone is the reason that I'm able to make the Kansas City Stock Exchange Bourse and Border Trade work. It would not work without Lightphone, and even if we tried to get it to work, it would just be a fiasco to try to get people to sit in one area, submit their price, sit in another area, submit their price, and then see if they win, and the only person that shows up is the winner. So uh, NASDAQ has approved us for an unlimited amount now, and so it's the CFTC that their price, sit in another area, submit their price, and then see if they win, and the only person that shows up is the winner. So uh, NASDAQ has approved us for an unlimited amount now, and so it's the CFTC that the 35 bidders was just to keep this uh, game safe. And so we were using 45 bidders in the gas from contrast and 58 uh, for King Abdullah and Aramco. And so without Neuralink light phone, this wouldn't be possible. And everything is enforced as I understand it by the CIA. And uh, even though they're not part of the Justice Department, they do handle gathering all these intelligence questions. So, uh, yeah, I'm working out a huge 50 to $150 billion a month pay package to try to figure out what to do. I'm also supposed to get 14% of the $2.1 trillion Aramco pipeline, Abdullah Aramco pipeline. I'm supposed to get 14% of $2.1 trillion for suggesting it to Elon Musk, and now that's his biggest pet project. He's got a multi-trillion dollar pet project of mine. And I'm just really kicking ass uh, helping Elon make a huge ton of money uh, even if he doesn't want the revenue from the pipeline. I think it's going to be a nice thing in his old age to remember the days of oil when there's hardly any oil around and there's still countries that want to use oil. When you can just use the Olensky Ion power drive that has significantly more power than just the 200 miles per hour that's possible in a Tesla right now, Roadster, is now about 350 to 450 miles per hour with a Olensky Ion power drive. It has more torque, it's a pure electron, and all you have to do is charge it 
negatively after sealing it and then charge it four more times and then negatively charge and then seal it one last time. And that's essentially what we're doing with the laser to make fuel rods. I just sold $130 million of fuel rods that we estimated were 45 times greater performance for a 360 knot, 500 foot depth Seawolf Galaxy cruise speed, 260 knots, it's, it's, uh, 360 knots. It's awesome at 500 feet being able to do that. It's almost like swimming uh, when you're flying an airplane. So uh, with those rods to place, uh, I had been looking at designs of bulbous swallow the lamps for my utility company, Energy Farms, U.S. Partners, MLP, where Elon Musk is a co-general partner now, and uh, Nestor Limited General Co-Partner is what Elon Musk and I have taken our titles at Energy Farms, U.S. Partners to be. So the work that I did for Energy Farms, U.S. Partners, uh, I'm leasing to Tesla for 15% of the revenues from the 10-year and 50-year batteries that Elon's going to be offering. So, uh, yeah, that's all of my salaries and all of my general blend of income for the next 20 years. And uh, I'm looking forward to having all that spent on me in a way is conducive to my own health. And so thank you guys for listening. Bye. Guys, thank you for listening so far. This is the last 15 minutes. Uh, basically, I have presented what is essentially a synopsis of my own financial situation and just me trying to get my head around it and see if uh, there's any way more to rationalize it because the amount of bitcoins I just don't want to say it's an embarrassing amount to lose but it was never in my control someone's life was threatened and gotten point to give up 4.79468926 sestillion e plus 19 uh, bitcoins and so with that we'll listen to Fido and FFMLP synopsis 15 minutes Hi guys, I know I said bye, but there's actually uh, one project besides Musk's trip multi-trillion dollar pipeline that he's making with a boring company arranged by Neuralink on my phone during AKCSEMB by an intermediation. Uh, this project, rather than being a $2.1 trillion dollar pipeline from Riyadh to New Delhi, New Delhi to Riyadh, Riyadh to NYMEX, um, what I was going to do was build a replica of my house that is a composite shaft of epoxy resin composite material and it's going to be a replica of my home and it was going to be placed in space directly above the, uh, the point at which it's convenient to look down upon the earth, which is which is at a point one third of the altitude from the earth to the moon. And it's outside of moon gravity, the direction we're going in. And it's directly, it's supposed to be directly above my house. And we're going to charge $650 million for the first nine days for each passenger, up to 25 passengers, and $15 million per passenger for each additional day they wanted to stay. In the first actual purchase of one of these trips was for 10 years from now by Star Trek fans. A uh, group of four wants to go out for 15 days, and that's 650 million for nine days, and 50 million for six days. So that's 915 million dollars a person times four is what they wanted to do. And I was going to collect 35% to 
to myself and maybe SpaceX the rest to maintain it. And it's a very fun project. Uh, getting a neat color on the outside isn't really what I care about. I care about a warm, homey environment and uh, the ability to keep clean and not get sweaty. And uh, otherwise, that was the plan. It'll run on Walensky Ion power bolts and power bars. And that was uh, something I was going to pay SpaceX $2 billion to do. And they were starting at $15 billion, but I've since convinced them that it's worth it more for $2 billion. They have a place in space to actually travel to that's not the moon, uh, makes the venue a perfect accommodation. And so it's a replica of the Walensky household directly below the placement of this uh, Fido space hotel. And what Fido is is a reference to the female counterpart of Plato who debated Aristotle and Plato with Plato was a female philosopher who pointed out transnudo transgender uh, problems in their speech and all over throughout their speech where they reference the he and they meant the he about the she and it'd just be a confusing tone to have to explain philosophically and clarify later. So with Fido in mind, P-H-A-E-D-O is Fido. And it is a theory by the professor Spivey on how to best analyze Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates using transgender transgenderisms. And they show that Plato is less prejudiced than Aristotle. Aristotle is more prejudiced than Socrates. Socrates is less prejudiced than Aristotle and Socrates is considered on the same level as more accepting of women or Socrates is considered more accepting of women than Plato. So that is one of the issues that arises after two or three hundred years of debate. And what they spoke about was a chair at one third of the amplitude from the Earth to the moon that would take you anywhere. Now, I'm not saying we're going anywhere but Fido, but it seemed like they were also talking about anti-gravitational force and the possibility of air being in this region. If there was gonna be air in a region, it's certainly gonna be this region. So there could be a draft of humidity wafting from the ocean onto uh, this location directly above my house. That's North Star to North Pole, right one inch. And we're going directly above the North Star, North Star to North Pole, right one inch. And this Fido Hotel, uh, besides just one group of takers, uh, I'm planning on going out four or five times, and I'm hoping to have a good time each time. Spending less than 14 days in space is probably advised, and I guess I'll try to go 17 days on my last run when I'm 65 or 63. And uh, yeah, I'm really just building it for myself. I'm not really trying to make money with it. But for the time where we can make money with it, my, my Space Hotel Fido is where you need to go if you're looking for a trip to space. So that's SpaceX Partnerships Corporate Management. And I'm contributing $2 billion to build Fido Space Hotel, which was a replica of my house made for space. And I'm going to really look forward to it. I think it'll be nice. And uh, yeah, as long as it's got good lighting and I can just chill, uh, that'll probably be the only time in space where I feel comfortable not having to have sex. So 
Um, just the fact that I mentioned that you should never have sex in space, girl. Uh, it's very dangerous. If you even remotely arouse a male, it can lead to instant uh, pregnancy. Uh, so, with that in mind, girls, it's not for having sex in space. It's simply to be a getaway for me. And even if I only need that getaway four times in the next 40 years, uh, I think it's the best form of space travel that I can think of without a daring mission to go to the moon. Now, you might say the moon missions are planned, they're computerized. Uh, I'd still not prefer to have to trust the computer, so I'm going to skip Mars and the moon and just go to my space hotel. So that's called Fido Space Hotel and was the only thing I think that I forgot to mention I was doing. And uh, F up MLP, Energy Farms US Partners MLP, where I'm Master Limited co-partner uh, with Elon Musk. Uh, is a utility company that's for the Saudi Aramco uh, Bo Abdullah pipeline and we're trying to get three light water reactors constructed. One in Kansas City to replace the one they have with a non-radioactive version of the light water reactor using the fuel rods from the Walensky ions. Remember, Walensky ions are antimatter hydrogen, anti hydrogen. And uh, yeah, we've got fuel rods that are 45 times better than uranium performing fuel rods. And so uh, I was going to see about making a fuel cell reactor that's not based on lava lamp bulbous output because I think we can do pretty well with the technique that we have which is to seal at a million degrees charge positively then seal at a half a million degrees seal once more at a million degrees Seal once more in a half million degrees, then negatively charge. So we positively charge after sealing our first time, and that's because a positive charge has to be present in order for there to be a negative charge. Even though we are working with material that's already negatively charged by the nature of it being what it is, uh, the Antimatter, anti-hydrogen, Walensky ions are easily the most powerful resource-based battery known to man. They're made from photon plus ion plus electron, photon plus ion plus positron. And during the first moments of the Big Bang where we have Walensky, Walensky ions, helium gas, and helium solid ice to form the rest of the universe. What is happening in that positronic calculation is the presence of a positron still being with the helium ice. So somehow when it reaches out the, the blast radius where these Walensky ions start to form, and we see the presence of helium gas, that's still a superheated convection zone that can produce the rest of the elements of the universe. And so in this convection zone, we were able to determine that all of the elements had been born out of helium ice, helium gas, I don't care. And, uh, hydrogen and hydrogen ions, which are Walensky ions, now that we understand the state of the universe. And so this positron plus photon plus ion 
gives rise at 15 billion degrees moving the speed of light to an extremely large unknown power source. And the reason that we got the SARN partnership to secure over 80,000 pounds for a reasonable less than a million dollar price that will enable us to make about 50,000 uh, batteries for Elon's Tesla. We are able to take 27 pound amounts with five pounds of lithium or seven pounds of lithium and coat a lithium bilayer of positive ion, negative ion, plus lithium, charge those ions positively and negatively. And what we're left with at the end is just infinite power. It's a half-life of billions of years sitting there as a nice resourceful battery uh, able to produce all of the energy, 1,250 watts of continuous stream per second, per minute, per hour power. And essentially, uh, we're able to make uh, 12 to $20 billion off of a less than billion dollar investment every year. So even though I plan to put in $7.5 billion in the Energy Farms US Partners, I have, I have to have at least one partner before I can start. So that partner starting is Elon Musk, and that's why I'm uh, talking about this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for listening. All right, guys, you heard the future. You know what's going on. Welcome to King Christ Capital Management by World on the Media. I'm proud of this announcement. In this last hour, I disclosed most of my finances as is required by the SEC. It's McKinsey, or may or may not be. I'm just doing it because I feel like the SEC would want to know some of this information. And even if it's not directly directed towards the registration I'll be doing of the ATSECN using RSDDA, my only intent was to ever sell five 100 billion Bitcoin auctions and one 400 billion Bitcoin auction with a bunch thereafter of one billion Bitcoin auctions and going down to 100 million after the first 10 1 billion Bitcoin auctions. So those are auctions that I'm announcing. The reverse silent double dutch auction you heard described is what has priced gas prom and Aramco into the market, some at $445 a barrel, $245 per gallon, and $63 per, per cubic foot. And those are the highest prices ever achieved in competitive financial markets, and we stand by that as done on Neuralink properly. Even if you don't see the trades, we know that's what's happening. And so the market is more prepared with my technology of RSDDA from the Kansas City Stock Exchange Boards and Board of Trade. Energy Farm GS Partners is the company that makes the Walensky Ion in a partnership with CERN, Energy Farm GS Partners, Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and all the companies that Elon Musk owns, his Musk Industries, are basically under free will to use the Walensky Ions any way they see fit. A Walensky Ion is an antimatter, anti-hydrogen ion, it is a pure electron. We just have to do things to it to stabilize it for billions of years of half-life. Billions of years of half-life for Walensky ions. And for that reason, I want to say congratulations to the United States Navy. You bought, I will not say how many uh, bars or rods or fuel rods you bought from me, but it was less than a quarter billion dollars. So... Uh, they work 45 times better than uranium fuel rods, and they're hyperdimensionally X-complex. While being X-complex and hyperdimensionally X-complex, in that sense, they're nexiologically, protological, protologically nexiological. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, because in the future, 
this is the only power source that can run a Tesla. And we found the lithium batteries were just inferior in every way to what's possible with the Valencia, which is a true electron. Thank you for listening.